In this video, I will explain what the purpose is of the IOTA Light Wallet curl implementation and what the difference is between WebGL to curl implementation and C curl implementation. Furthermore, I will explain what proof of work is and what a nonce is. Let's start what we mean with curl implementation. This is the IOTA Light Wallet, and you can choose between two curl implementations the WebGL to curl implementation and C curl implementation. I'm not sure if this option is available in the new IOTA Trinity wallet. To understand what is meant with curl implementation, you first have to understand how IOTA transactions are made. Making a transaction is basically a three step process. Step one constructing the bundle and signing the transaction inputs with your private keys. IOTA uses a bundle which consists of multiple transactions containing credits to the receiving addresses, so-called outputs, and debits from the spending addresses, so-called inputs. In IOTA, there are two types of transactions, one where you transfer value and thus have to sign inputs, and ones where you simply send a transaction to an address with no value transfer, for example, a message. A bundle represents a transfer of value. A transaction is an object containing several fields such as an address, signature, value, and tag. Step 2. Tip selection. The tip selection is a process whereby you traverse the tangle in a random walk to randomly choose two transactions which will be validated by your transaction. Your transaction checks, for example, if the descendants of that transaction is valid. If these transactions are valid, they will be added to your bundle construct and they are called branch transaction and trunk transaction. Step 3. Proof of work. Once the bundle is constructed, signed and the tips are added to the bundle, the proof of work has to be done for each transaction in the bundle. Every transaction in the bundle requires a nonce. This is the result of the proof of work in order to be accepted by the Tangle network. IOTA's proof of work is directly comparable to Hashcash as it serves a similar purpose to prevent spam and in IOTA's case also to prevent civil attacks. When the proof of work is done, the nonce of the transaction object should be updated. The transaction can now be broadcasted to the Tangle network and wait for it to be approved by someone else. Now you know what proof of work means, let's continue. The IOTA team created their own cryptographic hash function called curl. This hash function is used for a number of purposes in IOTA, but in this video I'm only focusing on the usage of curl in the context of proof of work. In this video I'm not discussing the curl algorithm itself and how it is implemented. The IOTA Lite wallet uses the curl hash algorithm for proof of work. There are two methods to execute the curl hash algorithm. Method 1. Using WebGL to curl implementation. The IOTA Lite Wallet is built using the Electron framework. Electron combines Chromium, used by Google Chrome browser, and Node.js into a single app, which can be packaged for Mac, Windows, and Linux. The curl hash algorithm is ported to JavaScript, called curl.lib.js, to work in WebGL-enabled browsers, such as Chromium. Web Graphics Library is a JavaScript API for rendering interactive 2D and 3D graphics within any compatible web browser. Here's an example what you can do with WebGL. Method 2. Using CCurl implementation. CCurl means C port of the curl library, which uses the System Central Processing Unit, also known as the native route. Proof of work is executed faster using GPUs instead of CPUs. GPU stands for Graphic Processing Unit, CPU stands for Central Processing Unit. By default, the IOTA Lite Wallet uses the WebGL to curl implementation, thereby speeding up the proof of work. However, some people will find that they get an invalid transaction hash when they use this setting. In that case, select the Light Wallet option C curl implementation. Let's recap. To do the proof of work, the Light Wallet gives you two options WebGL to curl implementation and C curl implementation. 
if you select WebGL to curl implementation, it uses the GPU, it executes the proof of work faster, but this method will not work for all users. If you select the CCurl implementation, it uses the CPU, it executes the proof of work slower, but this method will always work for all users. Please note this remark, executing proof of work faster and executing proof of work slower, are just general remarks. It is possible that in your case, this will be slower and this is faster. You have to try out both options to see which of these options works for you and if the proof of work is executed faster. CCurl implementation means using the C port of the curl library for the proof of work. The CCurl library can be found at this location. This is the location of the CCurl library. If you select the link releases, you can see these three dynamic libraries. This dynamic library is for the Windows operating system, this one for the Mac operating system, and this one is for the Linux operating system. One of these dynamic libraries is loaded at runtime of your IOTA wallet. If you download the IOTA Lite wallet source code and build the wallet yourself, the SQL folder is created and these three dynamic libraries are downloaded. These three dynamic libraries will execute the curl hash algorithm. WebGL to curl implementation means using the curl.lib.js ported JavaScript library to work in WebGL enabled browsers for the proof of work. The curl.lib.js library can be found at this location. This is the location of the curl.lib.js library. If you look in the source folder, click on WebGL, and you select this file init.gl.js, you can see it uses the WebGL API. As mentioned earlier, the purpose of the proof of work is to prevent spam and Sybil attacks. Proof of work means calculating the nonce for every transaction in a bundle. When making a value or non-value transaction, you pay no fee. However, there is a small cost you are paying. You pay for the electrical energy that you spend for the proof of work. Let's see how the proof of work is done. First, get the minimum weight magnitude. The minimum weight magnitude is the difficulty of proof of work. More information about the minimum weight magnitude, watch IOTA tutorial number 4. An IOTA transaction data is encoded and stored in a string of 2,673 trites. Let's call this value transaction object trites. The last 81 trites of the transaction object trites is reserved for the nonce. So this is a transaction object trites. The size is 2,673 and the last 81 trites are reserved for the nonce. More information about the anatomy of a transaction can be found at this location. Execute the proof of work using the transaction object trites and minimum weight magnitude as input. As you can see over here, the proof of work outputs the nonce, which is 81 trites in size, as you can see over here. Next, insert the nonce in the transaction object trites. The nonce is inserted here. Let's call this value transaction object with nonce trites. Convert transaction object with nonce trites into trits. And let's call this value transaction object with nonce trits. Create and initialize a check hash object. This object will hold the curl hash algorithm result. Create and initialize a curl hash object. This object will receive inputs, which means it will absorb the transaction object with non trits. Next, it will execute the curl hash algorithm. Finally, it outputs the results, meaning it will squeeze data into the check hash object. In the next slide, this will be much clearer. And here you can see how the curl hash algorithm is applied. This is the curl hash object which will execute the curl hash algorithm. It uses the transaction object with non trits as input and it outputs the hash value into the check hash object. The check hash object will hold the curl hash algorithm result in trits. The number of zeros at the end of the check hash value must be at least the minimum weight magnitude. If that is the case, the nonce is valid. A valid nonce is required for the transaction to be accepted by the Tangle network. 
I know it is a little bit confusing, but I will demonstrate how the proof of work is calculated. I am going to follow these steps. So we start with this address. Let's copy this address. The next step is open the browser and go to this web page and enter the address. This is a Tangle Explorer. I'm pasting the address and I press the search button. I've already done this. This is the result. We are going to select a transaction with this date and time and we need to copy the transaction hash. So if you scroll down, this is the transaction with the date and time, and I'm copying this transaction hash. If you want to know more about this transaction, click on this link. I've already done this, and you will see this. Next, go to my website and open the simple IOTA wallet. Go to this endpoint and select Get Transaction Objects and Corresponding Trites. This is my simple IOTA wallet. Please note, this wallet is created for educational purpose. Do not use this wallet in production, otherwise you will lose all your IOTAs. I have selected this endpoint, and I'm selecting the option Get Transaction Objects and Corresponding Trites. You don't have to change the seed. Press the Clear button, and paste your transaction hash. Press the Get Transaction Objects and Trites button. I've already done this. You will see this. I have copied the result in this text file. This is a transaction hash, and this is the nonce belonging to this transaction object. If we take the transaction object and convert it into trites, it will look like this. This string contains 2,673 characters. If I take this string and make it more representable, it looks like this. The last 81 characters is reserved for the nonce. The last 27 characters is part of the nonce shown in a transaction object. If you look at this, AJ99, AJ99, this is the nonce displayed in the transaction object. Let's copy this long string, this one, and go to this web application. I will demonstrate the proof of work using the transaction object in trites, this value, but with different minimum weight magnitudes. This is my IOTA WebGL proof of work demo page. I have created this web application for educational purpose. Press the link clear. Paste the copy transaction object in trites in this text field. Change the minimum weight magnitude. Select value 6 and press the button Proof of Work. We take this calculated nonce and paste it in here. Then we apply the curl hash algorithm using the transaction object with our calculated nonce at the end in trites. The curl hash algorithm outputs this hash value. And if you convert this hash value into trits, it looks like this. And at the end, you will see six zeros. And that's because we have selected a minimum weight magnitude of six. And you can see the execution time is 1.385 seconds. Let's change the minimum weight magnitude to 10 and press the proof of work button. This is the new calculated nonce. If we replace this nonce with our nonce and apply the curl hash algorithm, you will get this hash value. If you convert this hash value into trits, it looks like this. And as you can see, there are 10 zeros because we have selected a minimum weight magnitude of 10. The execution time was 1.567 seconds. Let's now try a higher minimum weight magnitude, 15, and see what happens. As you can see, the execution time has taken much longer. It is now 73 seconds. And as you can see over here, there are 15 zeros at the end because we have selected a minimum weight magnitude of 15. If you increase the minimum weight magnitude, the execution time will take longer. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. 
please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. If you have questions, leave your comments below. I'll do my best to answer them.